Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe, hit the notif bell notification button and you'll know whenever I upload a video. If you like this then please hit the like button and give this a big thumbs up. Now I know typically my beauty videos aren't that popular, but for those of you that may be interested, those few of you, I thought I would share with you a few bits that I've been, I've basically been collecting. I, I tend to do this, I end up being like a brand collector of things. Um, but I've basically got all these bits here from Chantiquet to show you. There's a, quite a few bits, but like I said, I've been collecting them over the last uh, probably a few, few weeks. Uh, and I thought I would share with you everything that I got. So, get it all out to show you, there's quite a few things. So, firstly, one of the items that is largely talked about and recognised as being a great go-to item is the Chantiquet Perfect Blur Finishing Powder. And I have two different ones to show you. I've got both shades to show you. So, this is the packaging. Now, I'm going to start with this one. I'm just going to bought this one first, no real reason. So, look at that. I got this one um, actually in the sale, I think it was about half price from Space NK. This is the Chanta K Perfect Blur Finishing Powder in the colour Medium to Deep. And this is a limited edition one. I'll just show you the packaging because it's so cute and it's so summery. So look at that. Beautiful. Open it up, try not to blind you with the mirror. And there is the colour of the powder there and I will give you a quick swatch on my arm so you can hopefully see it there on my finger and let's just do a bit more try and get a fair bit onto my arm to show you now this colour I would say is a little bit deep for me certainly at the moment but I do tend to tan quite easily so I'm thinking for the summer, it will be nice. Or even if I just want to use it in some other areas of my face, I have like a lighter one here and then dark on my forehead, say for example. But I just love how cute that packaging is as well. And it's all 3D. So the swatch on my arm, hopefully you can see it there. Now then, I also got which I got from Look Fantastic with a 20% off discount code. The same in the standard packaging, so not a limited edition because I couldn't get it, um, in the colour light to medium. So this is the lighter one, from what I can tell is the more popular one, which is why I think it's sold out. Um, the packaging, oh my god, I mean it's the Pebble Compact. It's lovely, it's compared to this one, it's more compact, it's probably going to, it's, yeah, it's slimmer, I'm trying to show you, you can see there, it is slimmer as well as being overall slightly smaller, I mean it swings around about to be, but the corners are cut off, but it's definitely a lot, lot slimmer, so for those small bags it will fit in a bit easier. But my God, does it show up finger marks. Anyway, I'll show you and swatch. And I'm actually wearing, there it is. I'm actually wearing this today. I don't know if you can see. There. You can see the two colour differences there. Um, and this is, I'm a little bit hot and sweaty, but that is what it looks like. Oh, to go with those, I bought this. Um, so it comes with this packaging. So I got the Buff and Blur brush and I got the mini one, which was quite hard to find. But I wanted, because it's the type of powder that typically I'll have in my handbag for touch-ups throughout the day, I get an oily T-zone, I have combination skin. That was my reason for getting it. 
so I wanted a brush that I could just, you know, not mark obviously any of my bags. So it's got a little pouch to go in. Um, but yeah, so I got that, which is lovely. And I have been using it. And I would say that this brush does work in the powder. It picks up more compared to just other brushes. It's just been my, and I don't have loads of brushes, but that's just been my take on it. Whilst we're talking about limited editions, I also got this, which I ended up getting off eBay, um, which is a Radiance Chic Cheek and Highlighter Duo. Now, I could get these. They were in stock from Chanta K website direct, but not in this colour. I wanted the coral. They have got the other pink, which looks beautiful as well. So it's all in this um, whale. It's got this, um, sorry, it's got a stingray on mine. And there's a different one on the other pink. I think it might be a whale. Whale or shark, I can't remember. Anyway, it's beautiful. And then what you have inside are blush and a highlighter. And that's quite nice. I think if I want to use say, a different bronzer, it's quite nice to have the blush and highlighter in one. And you can see there, that looks super bright. I'll put it on my arm decent amount to show you um, and then there's the highlighter there I'll use a different finger you can see it there it's a nice gold highlighter it's not too strong it's quite subtle but it's both colors are really really pretty um, they're not too much on so you can see there what they look like so the lighting's not great. I always try and film in natural light and it's so grey it's hard to find any. Um, so that was that. And I got three more items. I know I went a bit crazy but like I say it was over a few weeks and I just had it in my head that I needed new makeup. I think it's like a change of the seasons and you kind of go I want new clothes. Yeah I've probably that as well but um, also I want some new makeup. Anyway that's what the cheek and highlighter look like on. And then I got three eyeshadows. Um, can't remember the name of the collection now. Um, but it's this Wildlife Connection. Um, so I got Elephant, Rhinoceros, and Giraffe. And these are all highly wearable shades. So I'll start off, I'll do some swatches. I'll I should have opened these before, sorry, but the packaging on all of this is just beautiful. And the the feel of the packaging is just really nice and quality and expensive. So anyway, there's the little elephant one. And this is a shimmering taupe grey, which sounds lovely. And I'm actually wearing it today. Hopefully you can see there. And so again, I will do a swatch. Fingers are the grubby. I'll do a swatch. There it is. And I'll put that on my arm. So you can see it there. And, and giraffe is a burnished brown. You can see there, real bronzy brown. I probably picked up a bit too much there, but anyway, you can see it there next to elephant, which is a lot more conservative. And then the final one that I have is rhinoceros, and this is described. I was very excited about this as a sophisticated, a sophisticated olive. But again, it's not too green. You can see there, it doesn't look too green. So we're just. So it looks very similar to elephant there. Let's just put a bit more on. I'm just going to swatch a bit more of Elephant so I can show you all three together because I'm not sure I really 
captured enough of that so you can really see the difference. So we have elephant, giraffe, rhinoceros. So they've all got a slight shimmer to them, but they're not glittery glittery. Um, and there you can see the highlighter and the blush as well. So, good state of me. Um, so that was those, and then to go with those, this is the final item that I got. I got this brush as well, especially with them being slightly shimmery, and it, I read good things about it. So I just got a little Chantecay um, eyeshadow brush. I don't have many brushes, so I thought I would. I thought I would try it. Um, so yeah, I was just having a bit of a makeup spoiling session, really. So I thought I would just show you all of those swatches, um, and like I say, the, the difference between the two powders. If I just open them up and show you the shades next to each other because I know the swatches were hard to, I mean it's, it's kind of skin coloured so it was hard to really capture what they look like on the skin but there we go. You can see there, like this is natural daylight what there is so that is the difference between the two. The dark one isn't too dark um, but it is quite, I mean it is quite dark. Um, that's definitely more of a, a summer one for me. But like I say, I didn't feel too bad at that because I got it at pretty much half price. And they are lovely powders. So that was it for me. Any questions do let me know. In the meantime, do take care. And I will see you soon for another video.